and this uh, and uh, she grows to roughly around forty feet. No, um, actually, I th- actually I think she would be about because it said the largest of them get about like thirty five. Uh, yeah, I think it maximum more around twenty six feet. They could get to forty uh, something at the, at the book. Who wants to play a guessing game of what the f*** just happened? Uh, Visage. All I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman. Giant woman. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sitting here in my living room and I just can't seem to shake the glue. As everybody's settling down for uh, for a, a, a game of Ring of Fire, you know everybody's got minis. There's a, there's an actual board. You know this, this is a physical game, not not over Discord. Uh, and it's been going pretty pretty strong now for about a year now. Everybody's met up at least uh, once a week for uh, about a year. You know, give or take a few breaks here and there as normal. You know, a week off because someone's sick. A week off because two or three people can't make it. A w- uh, you know, a couple weeks off because the dungeon master needs to fucking vibe and not have a panic <laughs> attack. You know, like like normal. I still don't know spells. I'll just throw a rock. Yeah, Ken, <laughs> Ken, Ken, Ken still has no idea how to play this game. <laughs> Ken, Ken is Ken still relying on doing nothing but summoning all facets in every single encounter ever. My, my character in this game, because we're not playing our original characters, is a hot snake girl. Of yeah, course, Nam, is, Nam, right. Nam's playing a hot snake girl because he's a scaly. Yeah, because we're not doing Emelon, right? No. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm a hot snake a, girl. It's a... I'm going to find my snake. The hot snake girl. Like a, yeah. like a beak or a typhon? Typhon, of course. Okay, making sure. <laughs> that's not that's not hot, and you can't make it hot. Um, yes, you can. It's hot by typhon standards. It's hot by Nam standards because Nam likes fucking snakes real in real life. Um, <laughs> never take them to reptile world. It, it, it's a oh. mistake. <laughs> no. Um, as everyone's settling in, it, it's, it's, it's a fun night so far. The laughs to be had. Uh, you know, as... However, about an hour and a half into the game, a few people get some messages on the phone warning of high winds. You know, like weather warnings, you know, stay inside. People ignore it. You know, you're inside, you're in the basement. Everything's fine. It's Washington. It's not like you're getting a tornado or anything. As the sounds of the doors upstairs flapping and slamming against the wall, wind, rain hitting the, the, the roof as a, an absolutely insane storm is act, it starts like rolling over the building as you guys can actually start the you know reacting to this as um so should we like lock the door or something are, are we good you guys rolled uh-huh. up your windows when you parked outside right remember we're downstairs in the basement so like yeah. we might even notice no, no, you definitely notice. No, notice. I think we notice. Um, okay. You definitely notice. I can I'm go gonna... up and check, make sure everyone, like, locked their fucking cars and all that. Dude, I walked here from the... I walked here. Okay. I don't know. Uh, ooh, fuck. Did I come with? Nah, did I go with you? I don't know. AJ, oh, I don't, know, I don't, I don't fucking remember how you got here, Tom. I'm gonna go check uh, up there. Tom just got a fly. He flips you. I flip you. I flip you. I flip you the the bird that you. Don't describe anything, Tom. Don't describe anything. Just play yourself. 
That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I flip, I flip the finger. I flip the well, <laughs> if we're gonna die, I'm gonna go get some to eat. <laughs> no, as, we're not gonna die. As, it's just a storm. It's pretty cool Nam, one at that. As Dude, Nam and Monkey, are. as Nam and Monkey start heading up, like upstairs, uh, to the ground floor. You open the door to the basement, which wasn't supposed to be closed. It, it had closed due to, the, you assume, the winds. Uh, all, almost all of the doors and windows of this place are, like, flapping shut. There are people trying to close them. Uh, the, the like, wind is ripping through the place, as, like, from the front doors all the way through to the back doors. Uh, the rain is coming in sideways. Um... There are people, like, already running out of the building, like, trying to get back to the parking lot. Uh, there's a, the TV that hangs over the, like, little bar is, uh, shows the uh, Channel 9 News. Uh, if either one of you are paying attention to that at all. Uh... See people leaving, looking at them like they're weirdos. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go order some chicken strips. Okay, yeah, yeah, you do no, that. I'm gonna go check. There's no one. Sure Maybe his car just got crushed by a tree or something. There's, there's, uh, there's no one that there's no one like uh, taking orders right now. It seems that the employees are all trying to like like lock the building down because the windows and doors are all swinging open and shit. Hey, yo, uh, you need a hand? Uh, yeah, yeah. As a uh, he, one of the one of the employees like points at a table as they, 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 he, he tries to get your help like moving the table in front of the doors. Uh, Nam, no worries. And I just like begin helping him out. Yeah, Nam, you're just sitting at the bars. You like look up and you see like the the TV is muted, but there's uh there, there's there's subtitles as the the dude on the dude on CNN is is talking about. A big earthquake coming up from California. Oh, I see that. I'm like, oh, and I'm gonna start going back downstairs to get them the fuck out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey guys, we need to get out of here now. Well, what? What happened? What? Uh, earthquake! Earthquake oh, coming! Oh, oh. Isn't downstairs the best place to be in an earthquake? Not if the building collapses. Aren't we I, supposed but, to get, like, under a table or something? Yeah, we're supposed no. to be in a basement. So we should just or all we, get under a table. First or plan, we can, get the fuck out. Second plan, yeah. hallway. <laughs> yeah, hall, hall, hallway, hallway is the best place. There's a hallway at the front entrance. We'll be good there. Monkey. You think? Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, for clarity, it's, you know, it's it's not, like, the middle of the afternoon. It's, like, late evening. Um, as you guys, uh, as you're helping people lock up, and, uh, there's this sudden, absolutely, like, almost physically terrifying burst of wind as a piece of the roof just tears off, and you look up. Why are there two moons? They're not orange oh. or anything, but like there's there's two moons. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, we're the third world out of character. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> as as the, are you are you hallucinating? Are you just seeing double? Because the, they're really close together, and they look exactly the same, and they look the way the moon normally does, but there's two of them, and. We all see that, and j j just as everybody else, yeah, everybody else comes up, and just, just, uh, just as like the rest, like the rest of the roof starts tearing off. You guys start trying to make your way back towards the back parking lot where everybody parks. Make way. And <laughs> you see, and I want to clarify this: these sort of things don't happen in Washington. As you guys start making your way towards like the south, like the south parking lot, you see a tornado. Cuts down. It's the shouldn't we be in the basement? Why did we leave the basement? Running stock. 
Yeah, I would. The fucking idea was this! Fuck! I'm just kind of spacing the fuck out. I would, I would, I, I would like everybody to give me their last thoughts as as pa a truck that was picked up by the wind start uh, uh, flies towards all of you. He just added every fucking stereotype in one. <laughs> uh, my, my last thought. It, what is my last thought? Thing that goes through your mind. My last thought is, basically, I don't want to die. I want to see my dad again. Uh, my la the last thing that goes through my mind is probably that truck. <laughs> last, I'm oh. sorry. Last thing that goes through my mind is, yay! <laughs> You're the best. Yeah. Be no, realistic. To, to, to be honest, Trauma. like, w w with me, be like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, my last thought would just be like, thinking Monkey's of my not family. Monkey's probably not even looking at the truck. He's still staring at the two moons. Like, what the f- And then just gets hit by the truck. Uh. You got moon, dude. Uh, I don't even get to get uh, room to, to remorse Tom, for my family. Tom's sitting there like, man, I should have never came to the US. I <laughs> know, uh, actually. His last thought is like... Only in America. There an, okay, there is an afterlife. Grandma. Here I come. As he closes his eyes. As there oh, is a split, there is a split second of a blinding light, no pain. Okay, as you guys are standing, well, better term is floating in. Am I a, dead yet? A, a blank, a blank void. Wait. You, you, there's, there's light. You just don't know where the light's coming from. You you know there's light because you can see each other, but there's nothing else. This is black everywhere around you. If this is heaven or hell, it sucks. <laughs> Probably. What was it? What again? Limbo. Limbo. Yeah. Hey, Shrug, hey, I'm, I'm here. Well, I'm here. Well, what it used to be. I was expecting, I was expecting nothingness. So this, uh, my book, this is a bit of a win right now. Right. Oh, God, I'm stuck with Tom. <laughs> Are we all here right now? Is this just uh? Yeah, yeah you're. No, you're Shrug, there. if you can hear me, I'm waiting. Sorry, guys. What? Well, then you're there. I'm just, I'm just sitting in silence, like. Just sort of like curled up as in a ball. Yeah. There, um, there is. I'm just kind there, of there standing is, there, like looking around, baffled, and freaked out. Yeah. But also curious. Yeah. Well, I would be curious. Uh, I'm also the kind of guy that, in tense situations, I try to make jokes. So I'm mean, like, if we're in limbo, my back is not what it used to be. If I let myself panic, then all hell breaks loose. So everything's fine. <laughs> everything's fine. There we got is... this. We just gotta wait a bit. There... First There's, things uh, first. Um... Is everyone here okay? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> no. Like physically, because mentally I'm freaking out. <laughs> we fucking well... died, man. What do you think? <laughs> but look, we we died. But I don't feel crushed. Yeah, there's oh. a thing, you know, a spirit. It's kind of an energy that was you that now is here, oh, was there. You might not feel crushed, but your physical self probably does. There's, <laughs> there is up a, a there, there is, uh, you, you look around and you see stars. Uh, Hundreds of before. stars. I'm gonna go over to Nam because Nam's curled up in the ball, and that's not great. Same. Just Nam? dejected, not speaking. Um, hello, God, or whatever the equivalent here is. 
Anyway, as, as, as <laughs> Rob, you you call out for God, and suddenly lines start appearing, connecting the stars. Ah shit! I did something. I fucking did something. I fucking. I. I it's hide okay. Behind. It's okay. It's I, okay. I go be. It's I go okay. behind like a, monkey. I go behind like, monkey using him as a shield. Why? Like the scrub being dejected and laying on the ground. Like, I... like a, like, like a cosmic, uh, like a cosmic connect the dots. All the stars start knitting together, forming an almost web-like pattern. Who here's good at math? No. Sort of. No. Sort of. I'm good off. at it, but I'm super uh, fucking slow with it. Uh, good enough okay. to get by without a calculator with basics. Like, okay. I can count money without a calculator. You, you you guys wouldn't recognize, like, what's going on here. But it looks like a connect-the-dot sort of situation. Like, someone's drawing the constellations out. Not all the stars are getting connected. Some stars aren't getting connected at all. Other stars, like, there's big connections and small connections. And then the connections themselves start moving. As the stars start moving, the lines move with them. All the lines connecting the stars continue being connected as the stars move, causing the constellation to sort of move throughout the world. And it's 360. It's below you, it's above you, it's beside you in every direction. All right, this is freaky. Can I try making some sort of an attack? <coughs> uh, you, oh, yeah. you, 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 you can make me an attempt at a flat intelligence check. Now... Mm. It's it's Where almost our... got a Charlotte's Web feel, so I'm like looking for a message, like words. <coughs> Where's our roll twenty? Uh, it's in the I, I I posted it. It's in the general chat there. of the thing. Uh, no, I think you want to see this uh, so I can move you a bit. I do not let you move me. I don't want to see much right now. I'll kind of sit next I, to you, but I won't do anything to you or try to antagonize or disturb you. Well, in the basis way I can say, Nam, I know you're probably depressed right now, but it's like moving constellations. Ben. As, uh, what did you get? Ken. Ken? Ken, were you also wanting to roll? Oh, I was, yeah, I was looking for a message or something. Yeah, roll me, uh, roll me a straight enlightenment bonus, uh, enlightenment check. Uh, what'd you get, Ken, yeah, on that just enlightenment? Just 12. 12? Okay. So, monkey, it takes you a minute, but these aren't just constellations. I mean, they are. Most of them are shaped like, you know, a boat, there's a scorpion, there's a big crab, there's a horse, there's, there's, but then... You're counting them. There's seven... Th 77... 71, 72, 73... 77 constellations. Wait a minute. And each of the constellations is, is made up of, like... The, the, like, the... Some of the lines and the numbers add up to, like different numbers you're sitting there trying to like figure like you you feel like there's something going on here so you're like trying to figure it out and you haven't quite processed it yet ken you don't you don't get some sort of weird like charlotte's web message in, in the constellations but you do notice something those aren't stars a star is a little blinky light you know it's like a sun, but really far away. You know what a star is. But then when you really closely look at them, you realize that these aren't stars. They're eyes. Really far away. Little little, little white eyes. They have irises, and their irises are moving, and they're looking at you. Eep. Hi. At this point, I probably would look up at the sky, by the way. It is beautiful. They're looking the at us. The stars are looking at you. So, um... Okay, it's creepy. Guys? Yeah. Yeah? God? 
what happened? Last thing I knew was I was looking up at the moon. We got hit by a like, truck. My face goes pale. Hello, yeah, can you help yeah. us? Kind of lost here. I think it'll be okay. Okay, Ken is actually uh, is Ken hallucinating or or do they actually I so sticks? I I I asked this of love by the way. How could you all be so calm right now? Uh, I punch myself by the way. Uh, it he doesn't. Why are you making jokes? Because I'm not joking. I'm dead serious. I I'm, punch myself. I'm not talking to you. Because if I don't, I'm gonna freak out. You should be. I've had Trust faith me. in the after and in, and afterlife for a while, so that I was expecting something. I just knew I didn't know what what it would be. Also, so the punch I think doesn't I'm, hurt. Nope, doesn't hurt at all. I also still think I'm trying. I think I'm still also processing. Yeah. The, the, yeah. So I should also remind you: you're floating in what seems to be space, and you can breathe. It definitely looks like space. Uh, question: Would any of you look down? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I was just about to say yeah. I'm gonna look like all around me because just... you're in the three. Yeah. So I'm when you look out, more. when you look when you look down, you see the entire soul system, the whole thing. It's uh -huh. far away. It is like far enough away that the planets are like the size of your thumb. There's a little, there's a, as I look down, I just <laughs> stay looking there for a second, like processing. There is a ding, like a bell. No, not like a bell, like an elevator opening. And in front of you, a door opens just in the middle of space. Two, two sliding doors open up, and a very plain-looking man steps out in a three-piece suit and a suitcase. He is the most generic white guy you can possibly... Whatever your individual imagining of what he looks like is what he looks like. To clarify, he might look different for each of you. But the most generic white guy. Like, the kind of guy that would be difficult to, like, place or describe his face because of just how normal he looks. But there's also an uncanny valley about him. Maybe it's his eyes. Maybe it's the size of his head. Maybe his arms are a little too long. You don't know. It's hard to pick. It's hard, it's hard to place. As he steps out, the door closes. Uh, apologies. As uh, he... Take opens up his briefcase, holds out a table, and places it just in the middle of space. Pulls out a chair, sits it sits in the chair, places his a briefcase on the table. It would appear that you've ended a little early. You think? What the fuck was all of that? What the fuck was all of that? What the fuck? Don't well, don't don't we get our lawyers for the trial? Oh, no need. And oh. don't pretend that you weren't aware of the danger you live on the Pacific on the west coast of the North American continent. Your scientists have been warning you of a massive earthquake potentially sinking the entire continent the entire state of California for decades now. It was your choice to, be, to live there. To be fair, I was here visiting. Wait, we weren't mean... in California. Yes, but the earthquake would go all the way up to the, uh, all the way up to Alaska. It's on the fault line, you see. Now, to be fair, 
You, none of you were supposed to die, so the fact that you did is a little bit of a blunder. I'm here to make. I'm here to fix that issue. Yeah, you don't have to. Uh, uh, who's part? Going. You know. Wait, so like the okay. world isn't destroyed or anything like that? No, 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 no. The world is. Uh, I mean, it's not fine, but it's 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 not destroyed mm. yet. You know, that's uh, not scheduled cool. for quite. Why would there two Our families families die? What, what? Well, that's because of the convergence, and that's also why I can't be sending you back is a little bit of a difficult. What was that, my dear? Get to the point. Impatient. It's not like you don't have all the time in the world. Look, my only question is who made the blunder? Um, he shrugs. Sometimes mortals go off the beaten path. They make choices. Sometimes it means that they end their lives prematurely before the allotted amount of time that they are given when they're born. You seem to know a lot. Do you hear me, by the way, Titus? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Should have stayed silent. You seem to know a lot. Our old family spy. Nams, Nams, Robs, all of them. Are they fine? Your families? Uh, yes. <laughs> As for your family, uh, they are not in the North American continent, unaffected by the disaster. Uh, August's family is on the other side of the mountains, unaffected nearly as badly. A little bit of a quake here and there. I think... Uh, I think some pots may have fallen off of a quartz and some pictures off the wall, but other than that, everyone's fine. Robert doesn't even live in the area. Family back in Texas. As for the rest of you, don't have to really worry about it too much, do you? And again, none of you were necessarily supposed to hit this point. So, I'm here to offer all of you an opportunity to make it back in one piece. Wait. Oh, wait. We just got here. Uh, I look around. No. Is Jordan there? Yeah. He is not. Instant <laughs> panic mode <laughs> has activated. Where the fuck is Titus? Who was with us? He must have survived? Possibly. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. No, no, no. He, well, he didn't he go to the down ahead. place, did he? No, no, no. no. Okay, okay. No, no. I didn't wait, think wait, so. Wait, what do you wait? Hold, hold, hold okay. on there, again. What do you mean he went on ahead? Okay. If you're you know explain, is. I'm doing my best to skip to the important bit as requested. So, as I mentioned, there's a convergence. A convergence, in short, means two parallel timelines are merging. They're not supposed to do that. Sometimes someone, usually a higher power, likes to mess with the order of things. The power on high, the real authority in things, likes to make sure that things get fixed quickly. Otherwise, both universes usually end up getting the scoop. Now... In order for you to go back and live the rest of your happy lives, no matter how long that may be, your world has to, you know, not get swallowed up by complete annihilation. In order for that to happen, well, I'm going to need some help. So I'm going to give you all two choices. I don't really care which choice you take. Option number one. Immediately return back to your physical body and uh, almost immediately die again within the next 24 hours, probably, as your world is slowly consumed by natural disaster after natural disaster caused by the unnatural appearance of a supernatural force in your world. Or be transported to the world where that supernatural force is from prevent the incursion, and then be t uh, transported back to your bodies. Unfortunately, however, if you die in the other world, 
your soul will be stuck in its reincarnation cycle, meaning that you yeah. won't be able to return to Earth. Okay, deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, that was fast. That's a, actually, uh... Well, fuck. I don't know what the fuck we're going. I don't know what the fuck is happening. If you're telling me that my family that's still down there is going to die a uh, natural disaster after natural disaster if I don't do something, even if it fucking kills me, deal. Deal. I, gi I give you a high five. Okay, I've got two deals. Yeah, Anybody? No. That's, I'm let, let me just let me just cut it quickly. Is there anybody who just wants to go back to the body right now and doesn't want to risk the gamble, well, even though they know that they, they probably only have about another like three days left at most? Okay, I'm not saying I I don't accept this deal, but my question is, how will we survive in this other world? We don't know anything about it. Oh no, you do. He says with a wide like a wide grin. In fact, I'd say that uh, out of the seven, almost eight billion people on the planet, you're one of the only three to four hundred people that actually knows anything about this world. Oh, uh, fucking hell, no. No, so, it's, God, so it's like no, Sliders, no, just a me. slightly altered version of our reality? No, oh, no, no. It's, it's so much worse than that. I duly apologize. You have converged with one of the worst timelines. Ever. <laughs> I, uh, I just Arenia? One D D? Oh no, at, at at least thankfully it's not the Berserk timeline. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> say... Berserk timeline? You're saying the, an the animes have their own timelines in this parallel universe world? Well yes, whenever any universe comes up with the idea of another universe, that universe eventually manifests into the multiverse. Oh god. So every Which fictional world? universe Eventually, every fictional universe will become its own physical universe, and your universe is a fictional universe in someone else's universe. We're not going to the that Tokyo sounds like Ghoul a universe, really are we? boring universe, to be honest. Where are um, we going? He says for hundred people. What do we all he, have in common? He spins his hat, his hand around, very annoyed and angry, and clearly dreading it. What do we all have in common with, like? Not as much people to be very, very like fucking known or mainstream. Yeah, he he, he, his face. he, he reaches into his room or something. He he the reaches into his bag of hell. He reaches into his pocket and puts on the table two d eights with a with a wink. Fuck. Yeah. All right, fuck it. You guys need to keep up. Yep. Now, um, could it send us like to the final fan? Could it? Could it have been the Final Fantasy universe? No, the Final Fantasy universe is very well behaved. Not a lot of crossovers. That's that's a, that's bullshit, and you know that's bullshit. That's I mean, bullshit. in the, in the new game, they crossed over with like Monster Hunter for crying out loud. Sanctioned, sanctioned crossover. This is not a sanctioned crossover. Just uh, send us there. I'm sick of talking to you. You are. All right, I, I'm trying my best to be polite here. All right. Okay. <clears throat> now, duly noted, you have as much time as possible, but if any of you die, uh, you won't be able to go back to Earth because your soul is going to be stuck into Hulu's reincarnation cycle. Won't we die of old age anyway? I mean, hypothetically, although some of you don't have to worry about that. Why? Uh, what? 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 Okay. What? He, as no. you all just like, look at him and go, what? He snaps his <laughs> finger. And then you are each individually encompassed with a uh, wave of light. And that, and, and like, you know, if any of you have seen, like, the MCU, like, the Bifrost, like, beam. And he says, there's a, there's a very, s before you go, I should inform you of how you're going to stop the incursion. Uh, find the stone. Then, you'll know what you have to do. Oh, fuck's sake. Those are fucking hard to get. <laughs> as, as you are, uh, basically, uh, it very much so similarly feels like one of those zero gravity drop, like, water slides. Oh, shit. As you are falling through empty space. 
as you fall, your body starts becoming in like incorporeal. You you become <laughs> transparent. <laughs> your clothes start disappearing. You become more ghostly. As Nam, good vibe music uh, music for like a forest. So this is what a like transporter feels like. Shit, 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 shit. I already put on different music. A bit more melancholy. It's okay, I like melons. <sighs> you make more jokes than me, Ken, and I hate it. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going, we're going to start with each of you individually. Jokes are my thing. Tom. Everybody else, meet yeah. yourselves. Tom. You're the first one to wake up. The first thing that you notice, first of all, you still feel human. You still feel like a, you, you, like, you know, human. Like, that's just a gut instinct. Well, but you are flooded. You are flooded with memories that are not your memories. You are flooded with a childhood. You were flooded with the memories of father, your sisters, your older brother, your life in Ifalpum, your love for your country, your farm that you grew up in, learning martial arts from your older brother who wanted to make sure you were safe, marrying your husband, becoming a stout follower of Pelgan, doing everything that you can to protect your people and your country. Trying to trying to advocate against the war of, uh, of reflection, being your your father disowning you for for standing against the king, traveling with him, uh, traveling with your husband out of Vifalpum. The last thing that you remember, the last thing of these memories flooding into your mind, was a giant tree, impaling you upon its roots. As you look down, immediately you grab at your stomach, and there's no hole there. There's no wound. Wait, hold on, hold on. Why aren't you wearing a shirt over your? What are you wearing? Why do I? Why do you have tits? Oh my god, I'm fucking. Oh my god, I'm a fucking woman. Oh my god, she just grabs at her uh, at her face. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking hate this place, and I. I already hated this place, man. This is going to be the worst. As uh, yes, this will be the image. You can, you can post. Yeah, you can post the image in 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 the correct chat now if you want. As uh, tears run down her her cheeks, uh, she uh, she moves her hands. There's just a very angry face. Fucking f fuck. Sad story and everything. <clears throat> Sorry, girly. I'm gonna grab this. I have family to rescue. Yes, I would get up. You, you are in the middle of a battlefield. There are. It. You're not entirely sure, but it looks like a fight between forces of three different directions, three different small armies. If there were any survivors. They're long gone. Bodies litter the floor. Hundreds of people with armor and weapons and various different races. Group of cultists. A militia group of mostly humans, it looks like. And those. Oh. Some of these bodies just hurt to look at. The terrifying visage, the snarled teeth, and. Their eyes glaring daggers, even while dead, they still look like they could kill you. Yep, that's definitely a Mihan Yi. Even, even the corpse that's the most terrifying thing you've ever seen. Like a Halloween mask, but you know it's real. Oh my fucking god, I thought they were... My like fucking god, I thought they're fucking Ara, not their... What the fuck is wrong with... What the fuck is wrong with Ajira? 
Uh, she seems very concerned right now. As amongst the bodies of these darkness cultists, one stars. I got shoving the body. Oh. I I point my 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 quarter stuff at it. Clover. You're you are flooded with memories. Unfortunately, many of them are just more extreme versions of experiences you've already had had in real life. Dejection, mistreatment, harassment, objectification, enslavement. Your life has the, the, these memories provide nothing but pain and resentment and anger to the point of suicidal zealotry to the concept of having it all just end. There's no hope in these memories. There's no possibility for a brighter tomorrow. These memories don't hint at the idea that there's a brighter tomorrow possible for anyone. But as they mix with your memories, your personality prevails. Your hope, your optimism overpowers the nihilism of these memories as you wake to realize that there's a dead body laying on top of you. Okay. Hopefully I'm not too loud for this. So, dead body on me. Don't know if the ca if the mic picked that up. That didn't catch anything. That uh, it was a high pitched maybe, wheel. <laughs> maybe try stepping back away from the mic and then doing I'm it. I'm wearing headphones. Oh, that sucks. Hold on, okay. Hold on. Don't know if I can do. It. Nope, it didn't pick it up again. Okay. Nice no yeah, person, probably. Tom, whoever's under that uh, under the body just like screamed in fear. <laughs> yeah. I quickly move and I pull and I pull the body away as I put as I put my stuff forward. You, you see a beautiful, albeit frighteningly beautiful, the the, the like like a. Like poison ivy, like the way she's hot, but you know you shouldn't fucking touch or deal with that at all. Like, it, it's kind of like one of those. It's a bad idea to stick my dick in that kind of beauty. Uh, uh, yeah, dear, dear girl. Dear girl. <laughs> yeah, post the image. I will say, downside to this image is that you have like goat horns, and I'm kind of questioning why Clamera's official image is a Bourbon Sith and. This character's official image should be a satyr, but I'm not going to argue too heavily with it. it can... Silence. <laughs> Good image. Do I still know something? Well, uh, do I still know English? Uh, yes, you, you. English is a language that all of you still know how to speak. However, when you instinctively go to speak, by default, you're speaking something that sounds vaguely Arabic. Yeah, and you understand this in your brain to be Pelgonese. It's like it is now rewired as your default language. Oh, you better. Okay, you white. As she thinks to herself, okay, you white looking generic motherfucker. I hope you didn't make me forget Spanish too. As <laughs> she tries to go through it, as she says in English, hello. Yeah, so, <laughs> this, this person pulled a dead body off of me and is now trying to communicate with me. Yeah, um, They're speaking English. Speaking English, but I don't care. I'm shuffling backwards. This person has a weapon. It's a staff. It's a, like a quarter staff there. Like it's, a, a stick. it's a quarter staff, yeah. It's still a weapon. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> Uh, 
as oh, just staring at you. Like Tom, and... you made it. You, you, Tom, you need to make it so that I can actually access your sheet. <laughs> I try that. I don't know why it's not, not working. Man is absent. I, I... No, no, you're good, Clover. You're good. T Tom's the dumbass here. Anyway. Okay. <coughs> um. Who are yeah, you? Continue. Do you understand me? All of it in English. What did you say, Clover? Back. You say that oh. in English? Yeah. Yes, in English. By, uh, no, Clover, I'm going to need you to roll me just to make sure it was in English. Uh, this is the first time anyone's actually rolled this skill. Roll me a speak language check. Ah. Uh. Hmm. There is a speak language check. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you actually need points yeah. in that to learn other languages. That's why it's a zero for me. If by, by default, Ken's only going to know I English. I just know two of them. <laughs> <laughs> English and other English. <laughs> what did you get on that check? 14. 14? Okay. Yeah, you're able to say it. And you almost speak it in a jiren before you catch yourself and realize that that's not English. I don't, that's like Gaelic. Like, what the fuck? That, am I speaking Irish? What? No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, no. I'm not speaking the tongue of the fairies over here. No. It's speaking English. You know, the, the language of conquerors. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I love and, you, uh, <laughs> Yeah, you, you're, you're yeah. able to, uh, you're able to, you, you're able to, uh, you're able to respond in English, yeah. So what did you say in English? I said stay the fuck back. Ah, okay. Uh, I look down at, uh, as you said in English, the weapon the weapon goes slim as she puts her on her sh over her shoulder and she says in English with a lot of effort. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna assume none of the other fucks in the world speak English. Thomas, I'm, I'm Tom. I'm Thomas, which one are you? When, when, you said Tom, when you said Thomas, it sounded like you said dumbass. That was really funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, I said dumbass. So what? <laughs> He's a, a you Thomas. Thomas. Yes. <laughs> Tom ass. So, what do you say, Walker? They're, they're, they're claiming to be Tom. The Tom. Tom, yeah. apparently. So, there's like, at first, we'll, like, mistrust, but realizing that it's you just pulls you into a big hug. Yes. As there's a faint smile as she hugs you back. Uh, she gets you up, actually. Uh, she has uh, 11 strength. <laughs> gets you back into in your feet. Okay. Which one are you? She says with a lot of distress on her face. Clover. Clover. Fuck. Come here. Uh, she hugs you again after she pulls, pulls, up, pulls up. Pulls down. <laughs> You good? No, I'm not. Uh, I look, I I'm see that you're a fallen. There's a body on me. Why would I be okay? 
Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So this isn't a dream. She shakes her head. <laughs> so, suddenly, beside, not too far away, ten feet or so, sort of in the middle of the battleground, there's a you, you eye a body that is actively in the state of repairing. There's dozens of weapon wounds across this young girl's body. Stab swords literally drawn all the way through the chest that are being slowly pushed out. The wound is slowly closing. Cuts are closing. Broken bones are snapping back into place. Nam, you awaken with a gasp as memories flood your mind of a life on the run, a life of constant fear, a life that ended as you always knew it would, at the end of a blade, at the end of the oh, forces of Aramon. You were the prey, and they eventually caught up to you. Every moment of your life was paranoia and fear. You couldn't keep friends because they die or would outlive them. But chances are, most of the people you cared about, mortals and immortals alike, were killed in the, in the apophis pursuit of you. Eventually, you just gave up. You stopped running. You faced them and you died. These aren't your memories. These aren't, this isn't you. These are someone in life. As the last part of your body to snap back into place is your, your back snapping back into the appropriate posture as you wake up with a gasp. She sits there for a bit. Now that I know what we're doing, I'm actually going to name myself properly. <laughs> do, do you like this, Nam? Is this is this good? This is a good like solution, a middle ground between the two different forms of Isekai? Uh, yeah, I sort of do agree with Rob here, but yeah. Uh, she s sits up, le leaning up. This higher mental thought process sort of justifying a lot of stuff in her head allowing her to comprehend a lot more as she just looks around and sees the two other people standing up and just stares at you not to say much <laughs> just stares three people Two, you two staring at her, her staring at you. Awkward silence. There's a cricket in the background just doing its thing. <laughs> Wait, there's a cricket in the background? Ah, shit. Lamora Farang is talking to us. <laughs> oh, fuck. And then after, li you. after a little bit of concentration. Who are you? If you concentrate, you're, if you concentrate, you're able to speak English without needing to make a wall. Because like you take long enough to like realize that you're thinking in Thuban. You're thinking in Thuban. And you're like, wait a minute, that's not English. Let me focus on remembering English. She's thinking in a mixture of three languages, actually. Thuban, Tuhulian, and Armenian. But yeah, she says in English, who are you? <gasps> yeah. Um Clover. I'm done. Clover. I'm done. Uh, she stands up, standing about <laughs> six feet tall. This large, ghostly blue girl. I imagine her clothes have all been shredded as they're covered in yeah, fucking, no. uh, 
like scar, uh, like uh, cuts. Yeah, what once were very nice, like silks and, and cotton, like clothes have been torn to pieces by weapons, and they are essentially like just shredded rags that barely cover you, to be honest. Uh, I stare. Uh, uh, I'm August. Now! Yeah. yeah. Uh, as we were, I, I would run up with her. Yep, yeah, one hug. Yeah. There's a... Uh, there is a surprising amount of strength behind this person. There there's, is uh, twelve twelve strength behind them. There's a quiet subliminal like like connecting like a, like a like a subconscious connection of seeing Bob and Sith and immediately assuming food that you have to like overpower for a second. Actually. There, uh, she, she is salivating at the smell of the cor- of the bloated and rotted corpses around, as that is what my species eats. Ah, right. Bodies. Let the bodies hit the floor. There's lots of those around here. This this battlefield happened about three days ago, so the 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 corvids have already picked what they wanted clean. The wolves have been through here already, but they they they've left plenty as an offering. You see. She walks over to one of the bodies after after like the hug. She doesn't really hug back. There's a, there's this odd look on her face as she walks over to one of the bodies and grabs its arm and just rips it off. Oh shit! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She's just staring at it. This is odd. Yeah. Dr- uh, uh, new brain says that's food. Old brain says that's gross. <laughs> that's what's sort of co- 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 coalescing in her mind. As, uh... Now you're armed. Am I hungry? Uh, I mean... Your body... It's just dead. You're not even entirely sure how long you were dead. You definitely feel like you could eat. You're not sure. Like, you're, there's a little bit of shock. So you're not sure if you're hungry or tired. There's just, like, you're kind of in a state of shock. So, like, exactly what your body needs right now is kind of not, like, kind of up in the air. You're not sure because you don't have a good grasp of things yet. She she throws it uh, back down on the ground. It's going to find a cloak to cover herself up with. Well, yes. you look like As... a human. You look like a Boban. Hmm. What do I look like? Uh, I mean, when you look down, you're a six foot tall, Nifflin train question mark covered in eyeballs. Like there's there's eye there's probably at least three hundred eyes over the course of your entire body. Oh, the vis. Oh, never mind. Okay. The, you, yeah, the, it's you, true you just self like, that has it. Yeah, yeah. You you are just a, a six foot tall Nifflin train. You think maybe? I mean, you, maybe you're a Nifflin. You kind of look like it. You don't feel like you're made of ice, but you look she like she was. Made of ice. She was asking the people in front of her, who can see her. Like oh, a, like a very fucking hot and tall train elf. I'm, I'm gonna go with. Very tall elf. You're gonna never assume what which fay are you? Just question: How are you doing the ch- uh, attractive rules? Was it like uh, I don't take my species neg- uh, negative due to uh, the eye thing because this is a visage, right? Yeah, the, the, this is this is a visage. So your maximum the, would be whatever your species maximum is. Okay, but so it, this is attractive like, three individual. Yeah, attract attractive three. Yeah, they'll they'll. She, she's she's Gal Gadot hot right now. Cut the Let's she's, go she's, Natalie, she's, she's, she's Natalie Portman hot, is what she is. Let's go find the others. They gotta be here. As the uh, you guys are rustling around looking for a cloak or looking for the others. In a 
in a trench, a small defensive yeah. position, alongside. Oh yes. I'm, what are you saying? I'm poking the face. I'm poking the faces of the bodies to see if some of the more alive-looking ones. That's what I'm doing oh. with the stick. Yeah, as as you uh, find like a defensive trench line that was dug, and in it was, you know, a, a few of the bodies of like various cultists. And, uh, but, like, mostly, like, the, the militia, like, these seem, Nam, these seem, like, more like enforcer types. Not necessarily enforcer clerics, but more like court of order aligned people. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. As suddenly, one of the slowly moved as what, as far as you guys can tell, is just an entire suit of armor. Just, 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 just the the full fucking suit of armor. The the can't quite tell who's in the armor, or even if there is someone in the armor. Like, there's no gaps in it anywhere. The the helmet face is one of those like, uh, like sort of Japanese style, like a, a face guard who looks like a person's face. As it starts to move. It's Rob. You. Slowly start to wake up. And memories flood your mind. Of a childhood. Of. Walking for thought. Of, super of, robotic on my side into, Titus. Yeah same. Oh hold on can you. Hold on. You're just breaking up a can lot. Can you guys hear me better now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a childhood that you wanted not. A, a, of, of entitlement and... and What's the word I'm looking for? Um, Discipline? Privilege. A childhood of privilege. As you, as, as you were raised to believe you were better than those around you. You were raised and you were never at any point in your life given any reason... To believe that that was wrong. At every opportunity, you proved that you were better than everyone around you except those that were older than you. Those that were older than you had more experience. Those that were younger than you were had less experience. And those lower in stature could never measure up to you. You remember making your first weapon. You remember being given your first suit of armor. You remember making it better. You remember impressing your father, joining the front lines, squashing Pharaoh Rebellion. At every turn in your life, you led to victory. The Vigus would rule this world, and you would lead them in hammer and steel. And as you, as you came to this battlefield, you came hunting the greatest to quarry to bring your father, a powerful Elysian cleric, you were to bring him a trophy to prove that you were the greatest of all of his sons, the skull of an oak troll. Unfortunately, you were not expecting an ambush from the Mihan Yi. You were not expecting the troll's cult to be so large. You were not expecting the humans that you conscripted to help you on this task to be so fucking inadequate. You don't even remember how you died. Just that piercing pain covered your body. That the weight of your armor grew too heavy for you to walk as you lay there in your own trench that you had built. As the memories of this Vigus fade out, your memories overtake it, flood it back, your military experience, your life, your your successes and failures overpower this Vigus. As you wake up with a gasp in the armor that weighed him down as he died, no longer weighed down nearly as much. Uh, 
bodies in this thing. As using the Vygish's memories at this point, I kind of unclass the helmet and kind of take it off. <gasps> as I shall post my character's image. Just shorter hair and he has like orange scales, orange and red scales on his face. God! Uh, that was a trip. As I get, kind of like get up wearing this armor and I kind of just start looking around. You see the three of them like are like above the, <laughs> the trench looking down into it just staring at you. Uh, your your default language like that you're automatically going to speak unless you take the time to remember that you aren't speaking English is going to be to Julian. Uh, I do look at them and start to like process. Actually, no, it would be it would be Mogulish. It would be automatically Mogulish, not Well, Julian. uh, Vigish automatically no mo mo. Uh, yeah, I, Mulish what I'm saying Julian. is that yeah, as a as a. Yeah, as a as a Verislin scion, your default would okay. be Verislin. Yeah, yeah. I look over and like. Sorry, uh, Mugulus. Yeah, I look over and like, I, I look at them as they look at me. I look at them. They look at me. And in my head, I'm processing like, uh, um, and I will kind of like sit there and like try to remember how to speak. If that um, <laughs> you just, you just see this yeah. Vigus like try to talk every couple minutes and just like nope uh, nope that's uh, the wrong uh, word. Uh, uh, I, I hold up a finger, for like like one minute as I kind of get up, kind of like dust myself <laughs> up, and then finally kind of realizing like oh yeah that's how I speak. Uh, <laughs> yo, hey, what up? I gotta go with you, Don. <laughs> yo, what up? Enough. What you say? Yo, yeah. what up? Everyone's gonna assume you're monkey. <laughs> My character just spots and gives you the hand to like get out of the trench. Takes a second to get accustomed to as I speak in English. Ah <laughs> shit! Oh, it's one of you. Us? No shit. Us. Uh. <coughs> I point at the extremely hot one. Uh, I'm guessing you're Nam because that's. Nam all over the <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You know what? I was gonna, I was gonna call. I was gonna say that that sounds kind of meta, but like Nam never plays anything that isn't extremely hot. And your luck, you you use so many mulligans to get this character. <laughs> that. <laughs> can't believe. No, literally, can't like, believe you got the right I play. I play with Nam enough to know, like every time. <laughs> Nam plays, they have an attractive character. So that would be actually my first thought. And you two are... I bapped Tom. Bapped. Okay. Well, you bapped someone, so you're definitely Clover. Oh. <laughs> and... August, this is August, Clover, and uh, Tom. Wait. I point at Tom. You're Tom? She, she <laughs> oh fuck you! I should, I should be on the show. Oh. oh, all this time of people making you play females. <laughs> now look at you. <laughs> oh, uh, no. uh, okay. it, it's Rob, <laughs> by the way. We need to find. We need to find Monkey, oh. Stan, and Jordan. It, it's Rob, by the way. Oh shit! As I like take in my surroundings. Oh well, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I'm. There's dead people. My character's still covered in this robe that's just like dirty, covered in blood, uh, but you know, covering or being basically naked. Let's go find the others. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, wait, hold on, as I look around for, like, this, my, who, like, where I might have remembered dropping a weapon or something. Yeah, you, uh, you find your goddamn, uh, your, your warhammer, your massive fucking ball of a weapon. Ah. Just sure laying is. there in the mud. Yeah, I pick it up with my 11 strength. Whew. Wow, this is a lot lighter than I thought it'd be. 
Yeah, you... 11 strength. Yeah, I can bench press, like, 300 pounds. Let's go. Well, I'm not... I am not 11 strength in real life, so... Nah, I know, yeah. Yeah. Um, as... As you guys are looking through, you finally find... Oh, the memories. Rob, this... This is... Hitting you from the Vigus's memories. You see the... A corpse. At first, you nearly walked past it. As it looked like nothing more than a tree. The gnarled face. High in its branches. It's... Branches vaguely forming into what kind of look like arms. There are spears and arrows peppering the entire side of it, but they don't. That wouldn't kill a tree, would it? As uh, those arrows start to like snap off the tree, the oh, bark God. starts to form up alongside. It's like it's regenerating. The bark and the wood cracks are slowly knitting themselves together. Uh, g guys, guys. What? What? Uh, this what? tree is healing. It's probably oh, one oh, of oh, us. Hell no! Hell Wait, no! Healing tree. Ah, fuck. And you, it was you. Like knowing you, um, I'm just gonna turn this way. You, 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 I you also. You. My immediate assumption is that this is uh, one of us, because we've been watching yeah. people come back from the dead. Yeah, as, yeah. as, as people like take yourselves back, and Nam's just standing there staring at it. Of of everybody, of everybody here, monkey, you are getting the most memories. Literally, the equivalent of about two thousand years worth of memories flooding into your mind. Most of which is sitting still and doing fucking nothing. <laughs> oh, least, yeah, I might add. Uh, happily sitting still and doing fucking nothing. The dream, isn't it? Uh, 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 every, every, once, every once in a while, an annoying witch comes around who thinks that they can be a good witch, though not a very good witch, and they ask you for advice, and you tiredly give them advice, and then about 9 out of 10 of them end up ignoring your advice and get themselves killed. Those who don't ignore your advice started forming a little cult around you because they listened to you. They were annoying because they disturbed your peace. But they were, but they were nice. They brought you your favorite food. They brought you... you they, they, they kept the annoying animals away. They hunted away the wolves. They, they helped... You know, your favorite animal. The... the, the the, the owl. They helped repopulate the owls in the area. And y your life was easy. Eventually, your favorite person came around. A nymph. And she helped make the cult organized. And she helped teach the people how to, you know, avoid danger. Unfortunately, the nymph brought their own attention. And, well... You had to protect your friend. You couldn't just sit there and pretend you weren't a person. You've been sitting there doing nothing for eons. Hundreds and hundreds of cycles. These were some of the only people that made your life happy. And the trolls had long since lost the war. If you couldn't protect the handful of people who had dedicated themselves to you, then what was the point of doing anything? I mean, eventually, more people would come around, but... Why would they listen to you when you were clearly willing to let people who listened to you die? You had to make a stand. You had to at least try. It didn't work out so well for you. Or her. Or any of them. But you made so none of the attackers made it out alive either. That was the last thing that you remember. Before the last bit of bark reforms over your broken face as you take a gasp of breath and the tree moves again. Um, so I was the last thing alive on this battlefield. <laughs> you were the reason nothing else made it out alive. You cast a spell 
you turned to the path of thorns for one moment. Unfortunately, your memory of how to cast magic is a little fuzzy. You might need to go, go back. You might need to explore your memories more deeply in order to remember again. Um. I'm looking around across the battlefield for the people that followed me. They're dead. Everyone? Everyone's dead, except for four people standing in front of you. A Vigus, you remember he led the attackers. A Boban Seth, you remember that she was amongst the armies of the uh, of the uh, of the darkness that ambushed both of you. You see the blue woman who came to you to protect you. She led the armies of darkness to this battle. She wanted protection. She didn't get it. And a human? You don't remember her. I, you're not pretty sure she's not one. Are you sure she, he's not the one that killed me? Because yeah. you said that the tree killed I me. I mean, if, if if he was the one that killed you, he's just not remembering you specifically. He killed a lot of people in that battle. Fair enough. Oh. I speak up. Are you uh, Ken or Monkey? Oh, Jordan. The realization just hits in that I took people, that I killed people. And I just kind of like fucking freeze for a moment. The tree is not moving. <laughs> the tree is acting the way trees normally do, but you, this isn't the normal. Monkey, don't forget to post your image, by the way. Oh, you're right, yeah. Alright, this is this is big tree blood. I actually like oh. That. oh, that's fucking cool, man. He's going to be yeah. int oh shit. I'm gonna mute. He's going to be entertaining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> kick him out. Just kick him out. Yeah. That hurts. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> and Ken never wakes up. Oh, I vote oh, to remove. <laughs> Continuing to speak in English, are you not one of us? Wait, you speak English? Yes. I'm Who speaking this in. I'm not speaking this in English, by the way. Oh, <laughs> I haven't realized yeah, he's yet. He's speaking in Thraxen. He's speaking in Thraxen. I don't speak you just, you, just guys, you, you guys just hear like a clicking sound that sounds like a verbal version of binary. Which, by the way, I am speaking much faster than normal fucking Ents do, because fuck you, Dan. That sounds funny. Hmm. Uh, no, no, by all means. You don't need to talk really slowly. It's fine. I'm when, the best rapping uh, Ent in all of existence. When you don't reply back in English, I get into a defensive position. Uh... If you are one of us, focus on English. I try speaking in English. Yeah, yeah, you're able to speak in English. You just get English. <laughs> why? Why is my head thinking in different? What the fuck? Yeah. Different. I, I I look you up and down, no my knowledge. You're an oak troll. I think I figured that out. Oh, Different which one are you? Guys. I'm August. That's Rob. That's Tom. And that's Clover. Also, Monkey, <laughs> what's your real name so we can call you that? Angelo AJ. AJ. Just AJ. So I would call him Monkey even in real life. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Nicknames. I'm cool with that. It's funny because there, no there are no monkeys in Kivagathel, so it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Monkey. Call me. Uh, my character's name is Monkey. So who are you? 
I'm AJ. Monkey. Wait, you're Monkey. Why is my... Monkey. Wait a minute. Why does my voice sound like this? You're, you're, no you're a troll. <clears throat> oh, right. I you're, not a per you. you're, you're not a human anymore. <sighs> Neither am I by the looks of it. You're a Vigish. I kind what? of assumed. Oh, look, I got cool scales. Zion, maybe? Um, Let's go. Oh my god, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on. You, monkey, before you died, there might be one person who lets die the You're arrow. breaking up. There again. might be one person. Robot. Robot? You, Robot. you, you, hold on, can you hear me better now? I stopped yeah. moving. Yes. All right. There might be one person who survived this battle. Before you set off the spell, you buried the nymph to protect her. Like, you oh. covered her in dirt so people couldn't find her. She's dead. You remember where she is. You remember where she is. She might still be alive. Um, there, uh, follow me. Okay. Uh, okay. We need uh, to find Jordan and Ken. Jordan didn't go with us. I don't think. I well, said he, he went ahead. He went he ahead? Here. Uh, I'm gonna go and, like, thing, and I'm just gonna, like, all four arms just fucking dig everything up. Yes. The... I mean... The nymph, one of the most beautiful things in the world, five grades of attractive... Looks the way that both a person and a fish would be if buried three days ago. Oh. Uh, Ken, you, you can post your image now if you'd like. Uh, as uh, Nam can probably help you find a on your sports image that looks very similar. I already found them an image. Very... Oh, okay. The image I sent them a bunch. Cool. Um, thank you for helping them find an image, by the way. Um, as, um, as you're, like, is, like, holding this, like, decomposed, uh, nymph in your hand, somewhat mummified from the compacted dart, it starts to, like, slowly come back, like, slowly, like, color starts to come back into the fins, the, the, like, the, the like, meat starts coming back on the bones, you know, the... the, the like, it by starts the way, when I, I, when I saw them dead, an oak troll wouldn't... Like, even like with all the emotion, they probably still wouldn't cry, but with the mix of, like, me uh, being an emotional human mixed with the fact that, like, you know, I have this also, memory, I am unnaturally, like, kind of almost weeping for this... I, I should clarify your real world, like your as the person you are, your emotions. Hey guys, would, you know, as you... the the body sort of like reflates, I guess it like undecomposes slowly. So uh, Ken, you you are filled with the memories of someone who lived on the rocky shores. Near the near the wave pools, near a, a, a vibrant forest, you had everything you'd ever wanted your entire life. No one could, you, you weren't ever in any danger. You never needed to worry about the machinations of the gods or any people ever wanting to harm or hurt you. You kept to yourself. Every once in a while, if you were feeling particularly hungry, you would you and your sisters would lure a boat. To the to the coral reefs, and you know, you would feed on whoever or whoever managed to fall overboard in the shipwreck. But you grew bored. Your life was too easy. Your life was too simple. Your life was lacked excitement. Your sisters thought you were crazy. 
They told you to stay by the shore, live your life. But you wanted to find enjoyment, something more, something you were lacking. Cinder teaches to find beauty in the world. And you wanted to go find beauty you've never seen before. So your wanderlust led you to the cult of the Evertree. These were your people. These were wonderful people. You had loved these people more than you'd loved anything else, and you realized too soon that they only were able to survive because nobody knew about them. It's a little hard to stay quiet and secretive with a nymph amongst your crew. Someone as beautiful as you drew attention. Attention that was hard to ignore. At first, the humans tried to attack to kidnap you. But once humans realized that, there was, that this cult worshipped a troll, it was only a matter of time before the enforcers came. And you couldn't stop them. The troll tried to save you. He thought he would survive his spell. He thought he would be back to unbury you. But he put you five feet under dirt. And you s remember the fear in your eyes as you suffocated to death. He never came back. But just as you awoke with a gasp of air, you see... He did come back. What, did he? Wait, no. You're not a nymph. You're Ken. You remember <laughs> all of Ken's memories. All of that stuff goes under the way line as your memories over flood and back into your mind. And you're you again. But you're still the nymph. There's a little bit of both going on. Very conflicting emotional states. Yeah, she uh, she kind of gets your eyes open and kind of holds her head looking, and she's like, "What in our nation's going on here? Wait." By default, Sindarian, <laughs> which none of you speak, I assume. Is that is that no. my voice? Well, honey, all 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 my voices go to sound <laughs> like this, no matter what accent I use. You know, so uh, I can do I'll this in English. Know. <laughs> can I not do they, that? They Base nymph accent is more French. Well, I don't know French. Oh, I would not do French very well at all. Daisy Bell, Daisy Bell is You hilarious. cannot love like me it. like your French <laughs> girls. No, if if they if they try to do French, that is going to sound like uh, that one shrimp from the Muppets. <laughs> I think if a nymph sounded like a redneck, people would kill themselves. <laughs> I mean, if you don't like hey, the voice, I could certainly change it. I mean, to be honest. No, no, no. I like the voice. I don't give a fuck. Nam's is the hater. <laughs> well, uh, sorry, honey. It, I'm just going to have to keep talking like this, you know? So, um, but it, in, well, in a weird sort of way. what they're saying. In a weird yeah, sort no of way. Can, like, everyone... Huh? Oh. Continue. I'm just going to say, in, in, in a weird sort of way, he kind of reaches up to the, the tree and, and like, uh, you did your best, darling. That's all I could hope for. Everyone's just staring at the nymph like... <laughs> what? Rob's probably face palming again like, oh my god. Another person who's just not speaking English. <laughs> if I had to guess, process of elimination, that's kid. Or Jordan. Ken. All right. Ken. I'll speak English I'll speak for English. the normal. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. I uh, I speak out. Who are you? Oh, don't, don't, don't kill me. Don't, don't kill me. I'm, I'm new here. You we're know, not, just... we're not going to kill you. Who are okay. you? Are you Ken or Jordan? Uh, you know Jordan? I mean, I yeah. I was Ken. I, well, I, in a past life, I was Ken. Hi, Ken. Wait, I'm now Bob. I'm like Barbie. Oh, oh, that was so funny. Um, I'm, uh, sorry. I'm August. The one holding you is AJ. 
That's Clover, Rob, and uh, Clover, Rob, and Tom. Hey, Jay, we've had some games together. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, this will go well, too. Right. Okay, we um, have the now. Jordan probably isn't here. I get a rocket group vibe. Why would you? No, I think. Why wouldn't Jordan be here? Again, that guy said he went ahead. He probably already would have uh, gone off to do his own thing. Then you right. find him. Yes. So let's go. Go where? Uh, is it day or whoever? Night? It is. It is currently uh, very early morning, slightly after dawn. The dew is still hanging close to the close to the grass. Uh, the sun is very low in the sky. Well, either way, we should probably find somewhere to recover for the night. Uh, okay. Who, whoever wants uh -huh. to can roll me in academics uh, or an outdoorsman geography. Uh, I think there's geography for both of those. I will roll academics. Yeah, I mean, won't be good, but I can roll academics. Actually. No, I'll roll academics. Am I being carried or am I fo following the group? Uh, well, you have to spin, so. Um, I mean, they can still move. Uh, they can yeah, I can. Snakes. Yeah, they move like an they they move like an eel. It's it's a little different than snakes, but very similar. Like a naga, kind of maybe. I don't know. Yeah, like yeah, like. Look at the dragon. Like kind of. Oh damn! Look at the dragon. Uh, you got fourteen. I really like Clover. fourteen, aren't we? Thank yeah. you. High, high five, fourteen. Okay, buddy. every. Everybody done rolling? Yeah. Okay, right, 25. Uh, uh, it's good. I, 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 I rolled good. Oh, oh yeah. We, I'm we, just we don't all need the roll. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, you can still let other people roll. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody wants to, to roll, just to see if they notice as well, because Nam's guaranteed a success. But Yeah, I'm just around uh, it. And it's after and Clover needs to go to sleep. I... I, I, I know I'm wrapping up Acad academics geography if you want to, Monkey. Twelve. Okay. So, did anybody roll lower than a twelve? No. I didn't roll, just let them roll. No? Okay. So, everybody eventually notices those who rolled. Uh, however, uh, Nam notices nearly immediately. They probably noticed before even this moment as they were just observing the area. Uh, you realize, Nam, that you're able to process information a lot faster than normal. Uh, as the information that you just defaultly know from the books is much like quicker to be immediately accessed in your mind. And you remember details that you normally wouldn't like, immediately pick up on. Um, it's too bad you don't have a physical copy of the saga book or anything. That would be that would come in handy really, uh, a lot right now. But based off of the trees and the environment, even though you don't have any pictures in the books, you have to assume you're somewhere near... Uh, uh, near, like, um, Dorawanka? There's a lot of oak trees, and there's no pine trees. There's, and it's a pretty dense forest. So you He's... might not be in Norwanka, but you're definitely near Norwanka. You see her look down as she nods to herself. Okay, and I'm going to try to look back into my memories as I know what I am, as I have memories, to try to figure out yes. how to transform from visage. Out of your visage form? Yes. That's true okay. form. Roll. Yes. Roll me a meditation check. A meditation Any... body control.
I don't have body control, I have mind control. Eleven. Eleven. Uh... It... You know how. You know how. But it's... It's just, it's not something that your kind normally can do. In fact, you know, based off of passing through your memories, that it's really the only reason you lived so long. You lived longer than most of your brothers and sisters. You, because you learned how to do this. You stole the village. But it takes so much more energy than it, than it would take like a dragon or a giant to change your visage for me. And you're just so fucking tired. You need like a good like night's sleep or day's sleep or whatever. Like you're not trying well, to I can't afford that right sleep. now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fight through it. Mm, okay. You can change visage form, take a vig damage. What <laughs> one vig damage. Oh wow. Ouchies. I do Oh. I know, I know, I know, right? <laughs> As you guys would begin to hear the sounds of bones cracking. Uh, oh no. Uh, As, uh, good. As I start Perhaps. to scream. <laughs> As, no, shit. As you would see uh, these, and this eminence of darkness and this weird grayish mist appear around. As her eyes go from this blue color to this dark purple, large wings sprout out her back, and this uh, and uh, she grows to roughly around forty feet. No, um... actually, I th actually I think she will be about because it said the largest of them get about like thirty five. Uh, yeah, I think it might be more around twenty six feet. They could get to forty something at like the, the book. Who wants to play a guessing game of what the fuck just happened? Uh, Visage. All I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman. Giant woman. Oh my god. Very fucking... Wait, let me get this. this thing. Kurt comes out of a grave and... Let me describe. As you would see this draconic form, as then across its body in this rhythmic pattern, several t -t 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 purple eyes just open up as you see this thing. That's creepy. Ew. Holy shit. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are let we me in get danger? this straight. Like, let me get this straight. I'm reborn as a Vigish. Clover is a Boban. Tom is a human. And you guys get a Nim patrol and a dragon? <laughs> I said favorite. I'm mulliganed and still turned into this. Oh, whose uh, favorite is this? Go uh, on. Don't, don't complain. Um, she opens up as you hear in English just emanating from her. Where near Norwonka, close to Grafana New Tope, we can um, make it to Flame Dance where you will all be safe. Um, Wait, but are we supposed sure? to find the stone? Find the stone when we are able to. Hey, hey, hey! Rest. Tam I Tam think. Go what? ahead. You... Tom, hey. go ahead. Don't you want to take a? Don't you want to take it a bit slower? You you seem to be hurting. She, hurting. she looks concerned. I might she be able to look at that. Her. We can get to Flame Dance. It's a nearby city. Maybe Jordan is there. All right. But first. Oh, are there any clues from Jordan, by the way? Did he leave any signs, trails? Hey, I'm here, guys. Follow me. Doesn't look like it. Uh, anybody can <laughs> roll me a, uh, a perception sight if they want to. Or, like, <laughs> if, if, Perception sight, you say? 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up, eyeball bitch. Oh, uh, my perception hearing. That's, that's not much. I have perception hearing. 13. And two 40s I haven't done yet. <laughs> I'll do that after the game. <laughs> well, we have to worry. We're going to find something maybe with Nam's quadruple sight. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nine. I, I spot a, a, pe I spot a rock. <laughs> Oh, we're doing perception? Okay. Yeah, perception yeah, safe. This rock is really nice. Ma'am, I'm Nothing gonna demand nice that you wait until the end to tell me yours. Like it's everybody not just else a boulder. Did. It's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what, did, what did you get, Rob? 13. Okay. A uh, Tom? I, I didn't roll. Let, 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 let's keep this... Oh, got to. You don't give a fuck about me. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> I do. I just don't. I'm not gonna let the people. Monkey, go. monkey, what'd you roll? Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, Ken, did you look? Are nine, you nine, perception? nine. Well, that number is so far less. What I rolled a nine. It doesn't know. A nine. Okay. Okay. Finally, <sighs> how well did you succeed, ma'am? Oh fuck. What? Thirty-five. 35. 30, oh, damn, Jesus Christ. Okay, not only do you know the exact number of dead people in this battlefield, which <laughs> is around uh, 172. Actually, it's exactly 172. You double-checked. Um, but there doesn't seem to be any, like, specific signs. No, there doesn't seem to be any sort of, like, directional, like, I went this way, follow me. Uh, there's nothing like that. However, you do find, uh, you do notice something, is that there's a move, th th there's disturbance. Just like how Clover uh, was under a body and moved a body, and like most of you were like in a place and had been there for three days, so there was like a little bit of an imprint. There is one body missing. One of the bodies is missing. That must have been where Jordan was. There's 177 sure. corpses. Okay. I believe that's what you said. We, we just need to uh, know where exactly he went. Look, if we're going to uh, flame dance and we're going to live in this world, I need one qu question that Nam, only Nam will know, apparently. Uh, I need you to point out the fanciest looking people on this battlefield who are dead. Um, oh my god, Rob. Look, if they have money on them, we're gonna need it. Just look, <laughs> for the one, just look for the ones in armor. As they're, like, going to scavenge to get money, I'm gonna look for, like, fucking Mihongi bodies that have nothing. And she's just gonna start eating them. Uh, yeah, um... <laughs> yo, um... No, what you, what no, the fuck AJ, are you tell doing? Me about, tell me what it That's feels like to be made of wood. <laughs> Uh, I'm just looking bitches. over at Nam. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. RJ, uh, monkey. Monkey. What? I, rec I recognize the dragon. It's the same I play on your game a, year, a, a few years ago. She's a ghost dragon. She eats bodies. That's her bit. <laughs> well, Tom, Tom, help me, scap oh, help me loot the dead. Actually, I mean, uh, yeah. I want to help too, but I want to look for food because I don't have any food on me. <laughs> all, all food out here is rotted. Oh, yeah. Well, no, no, no. If they, if they scavenge the actual woods for like berries and stuff, you yes, monkey. Did you see DMs? I, I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to. Yeah. Hold on, let me check. Yes, I, I'll respond later. Um, okay. as, as we are going to close, as you guys are scavenging the battlefield with preparations to head towards Flame Dance. In order to get some rest and focus on what to do next, as you have been rather abruptly sent to a new world, and you have a very specific mission, and you know if you fail, there isn't a home to go back to. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Ring that bell.